Today's proclamation of the Word of God is in the first book of Moses called Genesis, chapters 41 and 42. The reading. So when all the land of Egypt was famished, the people cried to Pharaoh for bread. Then Pharaoh said to all the Egyptians, Go to Joseph, whatever he says to you, do. The famine was over all the face of the earth, and Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold to the Egyptians. And the famine became severe in the land of Egypt. So all countries came to Joseph in Egypt to buy grain, because the famine was severe in all lands. Joseph saw his brothers and recognized them. But he acted as a stranger to them and spoke roughly to them. Then he said to them, Where do you come from? And they said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. So he put them all together in prison three days. Then Joseph said to them the third day, Do this and live, for I fear God. If you are honest men, let one of your brothers be confined to your presence house. But you go and carry a grain for the famine of your houses and bring your youngest brother to me so your words will be verified and you shall not die. And they did so. Then they said to one another, We are truly guilty concerning our brother, for we saw the anguish of his soul when he pleaded with us, and we would not hear. Therefore, this distress has come upon us. And Reuben answered them, saying, I did not speak. Did I not speak to you, saying, Do not sin against the boy? And you would not listen. Therefore, behold, his blood is now required for us of us. But they did not know that Joseph understood them. For he spoke to them through an interpreter. And he turned himself away from them and wept. The word of the Lord. We stand for our responsorial psalm. Psalm 33. And our response, Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Together, Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Praise the Lord with a harp. Make melody to him with an instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully with shout of joy. Response. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the plans of the peoples of no effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Response. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on his, on those who fear him, on those who hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Last response together, Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew, chapter 10. Glory to you, Lord Christ. And when he had called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. Now the names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James the son of Alpheus and Lebeus, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out and commanded them, saying, 
Do not go into the way of the Gentiles, and do not enter a city of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Christ. Please be seated for the reflection. Jesus called the 12 apostles and summoned them to go first to the covenant people of God. Wana nagin sugo, or ana mga apostles nagin pili to go into the world. It was only after his death, his resurrection, and just before he ascended into heaven, hari kato nagin sugo, or ana nga mga disciples now to go into the world. But first, rana nga ginsugo anay kanda is that to the lost sheep, to the covenant people of God. Makita natin di karaya nga, kung sasin niya ni, rato niya ginoo, rana nga instructions kanda is that when you go out, anang hambag is that proclaim that the kingdom of God is at hand. We didn't reach agaboto niyo ninyo. It's not yet the fullness ro dayang aranga kingdom it ato niya ginoo but we know that the fullness of the kingdom of God when the church was birthed by the Holy Spirit nga kun sa sinya ni nga dikatogon do great commission ginhimo gintao sa ron dayang mga apostles nga ni rikaraya ginapadumdum gyapon kita nga even as we go out we go out to bring the kingdom of God we go out to mission and say that the kingdom of God is at hand. Una gon agaboto ninyo. The kingdom of God ay doon raana nga raana nga domain sa kabuhi tawo. Nga ni Rikaraya as we remember no dayang nga not only the great commission we also remember no dayang nga ana nga pagpadumdum katon Ngayon daya nga ato niya, pagsunod sa ato niya gino, especially when we proclaim the kingdom of God, it is His kingdom that we bring into the world. It is the kingdom that is mambay nato niya, the kingdom that God is the one who rules and He rules in love. He rules in sarundaya nga rin gentleness. He rules in sarundaya nga rin nga mercy at sana nga grace. Nga anang nga nga ginapadumdum, the reason why he came into the world, his kingdom is founded in righteousness and love. The reason why we are here in the we bring the kingdom of God to the world. What is the reason why we are here? Although we are here, the first thing we are here to our disciples is that he gave them power and authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all sickness and diseases. This is still part it ato niya hilimuon. Nga kung we go out, we minister, because that is the kingdom of God. That is the, the love of God to the people. We bring healing, we bring restoration, we help, we restore people. Dairo ginharian it ato niya gino. But first, makita natin ka nagumpisa ron mga apostles to the lost sheep of Israel. Then, after Sanang resurrection, just before he ascended, Ra'anang Ahamba now go into the world, make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. But what I'm going to say is that, but wait for the promise of the Holy Spirit. Tarry for a while, and then you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Ngani Rikaraya, Yes, we have been given authority by the Lord Jesus Christ. And we have been empowered by the Holy Spirit to bring the kingdom to the world, the kingdom of God, to make known the kingdom of God. To where His people is, there is the kingdom of God. There is the power of God. It should be manifest because we represent the King and His kingdom to the world. And we bring that kingdom that people may know, people may see, that we are truly Christ sent into the world. Please stand. <laughs> 